Welcome to COVID Conversations, where we discuss the latest COVID-19 news with the experts. COVID-19 vaccinations can cause harmless enlarged lymph nodes, usually under the arm and on the side the shot was given. For those who have previ previously had cancer or who are due for a regular mammogram screening, this swelling can cause confusion, even stress and anxiety. Julie O'Brien is a breast surgeon at Leahy Hospital and Medical Center, and she's the director of Leahy's Comprehensive Breast Health Center. She joins me now. Dr. O'Brien, welcome. Thank you so much for having me here today, Nicole. Today's question is, should I be concerned if my lymph nodes are swollen after my vaccine? So typically our lymph nodes do get swollen after vaccination of any type, uh, but we're finding this is especially true with the COVID vaccination that patients are having a somewhat robust reaction to the vaccine. Uh, and then we can therefore sometimes feel abnormal lymph nodes under our armpit, um, or it could even be picked up on a routine screening exam, such as a mammogram or a breast MRI. What does swelling of the lymph nodes in the armpit usually mean if you haven't had a vaccine recently? So typically when patients have abnormal swelling in the lymph nodes, it's telling us that our bodies are reacting to something. The most common reason to have swollen lymph nodes is actually a benign process. We're sick with an infection, we have a virus, um, but we also know that swollen lymph nodes can be a sign of cancer. Uh, they can be a sign of breast cancer, uh, you know, where the breast, it drains to those axillary lymph nodes, the lymph nodes in the armpit. So sometimes a very unusual presentation, but we see it can be patients presenting with a, a armpit swelling. And in essence, that could be a sign of breast cancer. Uh, also types of lymphoma or blood cell cancers can sometimes present with swollen lymph nodes as well. Uh, so in the setting of not having a recent vaccine, absolutely patients should be evaluated by their doctors to make sure that there's no um, for the workup that's needed. So have you been he hearing or, or, or speaking with patients who maybe recently went through um, a cancer or you know, are, 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 are working with you in terms of their breast health and they have had their vaccine and, and they're alarmed? And what do you say to them? Yeah, this is um, a very hot topic happening right now. Uh, I think in the media, you know, certainly we're seeing more and more awareness of this, um, that the COVID vaccine is uh, causing some patients to have uh, enlarged lymph nodes. Um, typically, we want to reassure the patients that this is oftentimes harmless, that this is due to the vaccine, especially if it's in the setting of having that vaccine recently and located in the arm where, um, you know, in the arm area where they had the shot. Now, um, it's also important to mention to patients that although that's more likely that's what it is, that certainly if it is picked up on clinical exam or on imaging, this is something that absolutely needs to be followed up. So although we're reassuring patients in the same token, we also have to reassure them that we're gonna see them back in close follow-up. And most patients who are found to have something incidentally on their imaging, are they will need follow-up imaging in a certain amount of time to document resolution. Uh, because if it is secondary to the vaccine, it should go away uh, for sure. How long, do, how long does that normally take for that swelling to go down? We're seeing, you know, probably about four to six weeks after the, the second vaccination. Uh, I think it's an evolving uh, field of information. So I think the more patients who get vaccinated, depending on which vaccine they get, which manufacturer, um, also more patients are getting their screening exams. I think we're going to gain more information is, is to an idea of that. But what we're seeing now is we are telling patients about four to six weeks after vaccine um, in terms of timing of their screening exam, if they would like. One of the, one of the biggest concerns, the healthcare, one of many that the, that the healthcare industry, uh, hospital healthcare workers around the world realized during the pandemic was that people were delaying their care mm -hmm. while this pandemic raged on. And, and it was a huge concern. So if, if someone has the, the swelling and, and they have this information that they should maybe wait for their mammogram screening, do you think that that's going to confuse people or, or, should, or is it important for them to know wait, but please come and see us. No, I think that's an excellent point, Nicole. I think in patients who are already overdue for their mammogram, we want to stress to them, there should not be further delay in them getting their routine screening exams. I think it's important for patients to know that when they are going for their screening exam, that the technologist, whether in mammography or MRI, 
they are querying the patient, which vaccine did you get, which arm, when did you get it? Um, and it's all being documented. So when the radiologist is interpreting the films, they have that background information. But I think that's such a key point that it's so important to get vaccinated, but in the same token, it's so important not to get behind in screening exams. We know that screening exams save lives. So I think in patients who are already behind, then we have to press forward and essentially get the test and then deal with the sequelae if we do see something. Um, because I think that's just the ticket. We don't want them to get behind in something they may already be behind on. Is there anything that people should look out for in terms of what that swelling should feel like that would be normal after the vaccination shot versus something that is of bigger concern? A question that's coming up quite often is in patients who have history of cancer, or have, um, have had surgery, which arm should they get the shot in? Uh, so I think you know, it's important for patients to know and what I've been telling my patients is to really look to get it in the arm opposite where you had cancer. Uh, and for example, someone who's had left breast cancer, they've had left lymph node surgery, it would be important for that patient to get it in the right arm, as you can imagine, as a survivor, if they start feeling swollen lymph nodes on the side where they had cancer, that would be quite alarming. Uh, and then certainly there's patients who've had bilateral or both sided cancer, uh, then the option for patients, they can actually get the vaccination in their thigh um, and just get it out of the equation of noting any uh, armpit swelling. So something Very else to interesting. Keep in mind. Very interesting. Very interesting information. As always, Dr. O'Brien, it's such a pleasure to have you. I appreciate you coming and talking about this really, really important topic right now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole, for spreading the awareness of this finding. Appreciate it. This is COVID Conversations, where we discuss the latest COVID-19 news with the experts. Mm -hmm.